Hey guys, welcome to part two, or episode two, or whatever you want to call it, the second episode of my, um, what should we call it, gaming setup review thingamajig tour, you know, of 2015. So, I just thought I'd do this for no reason. So, you've seen episode one, hopefully. If you haven't, uh, no, there'll probably be a link on screen somewhere. I'm just going to point my finger randomly. There, there, right there. There is the uh, annotation link click on that it'll take you to episode one so uh, make sure you go click that also click the subscribe button down there and the like button and like and share if uh, YouTube updates it it's around here somewhere <laughs> it's over there 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 or there but anyway let's get on with the video uh, comment down below all your setup like special things like something special in your setup like the most expensive thing if you want like the most expensive um, equipment that you've got in your setup so that's what I want you to comment below. So we're just gonna get down low right here. Tiny amount of space for me to get into. <laughs> but what we got here is like a shelf for all my games. So I got like PS3 games, PC, and some PlayStation 2 games, and then DVDs and stuff like that down there. And I have got more PS2 games. Like trust me, that like this section is minuscule to the amount of PS2 games I have. I think they're all packed up in a box somewhere from when we moved. And I'm not. I think that's all of my PS3 games. No, it's not all of them, but there is like some of them up somewhere else. But if I had all my PS3 games, I wouldn't be able to fit them all into this section, which probably could fit quite a lot in there right now. So, um, for some reason that one's sticking out and it won't go back in. Let me just fix that. So uh, yeah, so it's probably going to be a bit echoey down here because I have a deep voice and it does echo off the walls a bit. <laughs> but anyway, this is my PC. We're going to look at the uh, stats right now, if you can see that. Not sure if you can, but it's a XC ah, XC 603 uh, Aspire X. It's got um, operation system. It's a Windows 8.1 64-bit uh, processor. is an Intel J1900 something like that. Uh, graphics is an Intel HD graphics. Uh, hard drive one terabyte. Memory 4GB DDR3. Optical drive is DVD Super Multi. Uh, card render. No, card reader. The is a card. Yeah, card reader is card reader. <laughs> that's uh, that's literally what it is. I uh, don't know what any of these are, by the way. And networking is something along the lines of wireless LAN or Bluetooth, something like that. But I don't know. HDMI, Bluetooth, you know, all of that, it does the job. It's a quad core PC, which I'm get, oh, hopefully gonna try and save up for a new one because quad core, as I've found out recently with this thing, isn't good enough for gaming. It's got like fans in the side of it and everything. But no, you don't want quad core. It's even got the little antennae, which you can get electric shock if you like touch these little ring parts around the top of them. Like you can get electric shock off of them. And it can be quite painful sometimes. It's like proper zaps here. But um, if you just listen to it, I think you can hear it. You can see kind of the inside as well. I'm not sure if you can see through there. But um, it's pretty uh, decent PC, especially compared to my laptop. But sometimes my laptop is faster than this thing. So, you know, and it's only a dual core laptop. And this is quad core, so it's supposed to be fast, but it's not. So I'm trying to get a turbo core, which is really expensive and stuff. So, you know. And then I'll just give this PC to my mom because she wants it. And probably sell laptops or something. But I don't know. I won't sell my laptop because I like to use it for traveling, but she might sell hers. Uh, I'll take her laptop if she takes this, and then I'll sell the laptop. <laughs> but anyway, this is uh, my Elgato game capture card uh, device, whatever you want to call it. But uh, I've had that for a while now, and it's got like the HDMI cables, the USB cables, and power cables and stuff like that. Uh, TV, PS3, and I use the same cord for the PS3, for the PS4, like I just switch them around whenever I'm playing between them. Uh, monitor, the, like, the PC monitors this one, and then the PC modem tower thing is right here. Uh, that's, that's all the uh, wiring for it. Uh, my blue snowball microphone wire, like it all runs up here into the back, and then I think this is the Elgato one. And the mouse and keyboard are plugged in around the back of the uh, PC. So um, that's pretty much it for underneath the desk. I can get back up now. <laughs> so small. Oh my god, we see the light. Ugh. Anyway, let's move on to the microphone. I don't think I've said anything about the microphone, to be honest. I haven't said much. This is my blue snowball microphone. Really good microphone. 
Not too sure what this is at the back, but what, from what I do know, three, when you put it on three, it's quite blurry, but when you put it on three, it's really like uh, silent. Two is a bit more louder, and one is like the loudest you can get it, I think. From what I've heard, like between them all, one is like from what I've tested myself, one is like the um, loudest you can get it. But um, it's a nice shiny chrome part to it. It's like all nice and shiny. It's got like blue logo there, and it's also got blue there. They really want you to know what it is because it also says the snowboard on the side. It's a bit shiny, so you can't really see it because it's blurred a bit. But it's designed by Blue Assembled in China, something like that. It says on the side, I don't know why I'm reading that, but it's like white and then it's orange. Really bright light, by the way. Hopefully, that's not hurting your eyes because it hurts my eyes right now. It's like super bright for a little light. And then, um, yeah, a little tripod that came with it. And uh, it's a really weird wire. I don't know what that's all about. But, um, so yeah, guys, that's basically my uh, gaming setup. Like, I don't have the old office anymore. Christmas socks, epic. <laughs> so yeah, I don't have the um, gaming setup for an office anymore. Um, shelves up there, shelves over there as well. But uh, that's pretty much it. I've got a couple of posters there. Um, I've got my Star Wars posters, my guitars seen that a second ago just basically my room as well really epic bin don't know why the bins epic but I just said it so that's where I started in 2012 13 something like that I think it might be 13 yeah I think I started in 2013 and this is where we are now what was it 12 I think it might have been 12 I don't know I think it was 12 or 13 some one of them too I don't know but um this is where we are guys and this may sound weird, but it wouldn't I wouldn't be even here if it wasn't for you guys. Because if you hadn't been watching all my videos and subscribing, and I know I'm still a small channel, I've only got like 432 subscribers and like almost 10,000 video views in total on my channel, but if I hadn't got anywhere near that by now, all these years I've been doing it, technically I've been on year um, I've YouTube for a year because I spent my first year, like we're going into the um, second year now, because the first year I made this channel, I uploaded three videos and tried to get 100 views within a year just with them three like non-HD videos when I first started. And I spent a year not doing anything. I uploaded them three when I first started my channel, then left it for a year. Got 100 uh, video views in pretty much a year. And then I started doing YouTube the year later after creating my YouTube channel. So I've only really been on for a year, so we're doing alright. I'm actually pretty happy with it. And um, I'm partnership with Freedom, which I'm planning on changing because they're not good. They haven't brought anything to my channel, and really, I rushed into it. When you want to get a partnership, go for something good. I'm thinking about um, TGN or something like that. Um, they're really good. So I just want to say thanks to you for being so awesome and just giving me this opportunity. Even though we're still a small channel, but I'm I'm literally thinking we'll get there eventually. And I'm gonna keep pushing to get um, this channel going, and more than the numbers, because I'm not a numbers person. And I know a lot of YouTubers say that, but it's serious. We no, we don't do this for numbers. We do this for making you happy, having you enjoy videos, and being creative, and just making people happy. So, you know, that's where we started. This is what you guys have brought to me, basically. Still came out of my money. But you gave me this, so I just want to say thanks. <laughs> we're getting all emotional right now, but we're not really. No, we're getting kind of emotional, but no. So, if I had to recommend anything from this setup, PS4 and PlayStation in total, that TV remote, <laughs> um, not this PC because it's quad core. Get something more than quad core, like a um, turbo core, if you're getting into bigger channels and stuff. If you're starting off, laptop's fine. This microphone, brilliant, or a blue Yeti, anything from the blues, <laughs> or this, an Elgato. You need an Elgato. And then these, and then you've got your perfect setup. So thanks for watching these um, setup videos. Please subscribe, help me get to a million subscribers, and thank you very much. <laughs>